could go. We could do that. We could go left and then right. And then yeah, right. Or is that just, no, that's a bus lane. No, 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 no. That's a bus lane. That's that's definitely a bus lane. I mean, the tourist roll is good part of the bus. Yeah, not really. Stop lane in the back here. Oh, go back there. Reverse back. Stop lane here. Yeah, all good. Yeah, so he was trying to say so you, so you don't screw your car up. <laughs> Today on Big House Sport, we are here at the Gabba in Brisbane for a big match of cricket. I'm excited for this one. Let's be honest, I shouldn't really be too excited because every single game that we've had here this year, Gabba or Metricon for the Brisbane Heat, uh, we've lost. We haven't, we haven't won a single game at home yet. In today's match, we are here for the Brisbane Heat versus Sydney Thunder in the BBL Big Bash League. The Brisbane Heat and Sydney Thunder both played last week down in Sydney, but unfortunately got affected by the rain really severely. Brisbane Heat, however, did absolutely smash it. 186 runs in the opening 20. It could have been anywhere from 200 to 250 for 186, which is actually a little bit under what they should have gotten because they were killing it. The middle order collapsed like usual. Because of the rain, Sydney Thunder didn't actually get to it complete their innings. So they're given kind of like a statistical, uh, I don't really know exactly how it works. All I know is that it goes by what your run rate is and a whole heap of factors and, and they give you a score in the end and unfortunately their score wasn't enough. They weren't hitting enough anyway so it probably, it was a fair result in my opinion. It actually was a fair result. I know a lot of Sydney Thunder fans weren't exactly too happy about it but it was a fair result in my opinion. Sydney Thunder this season, they are four and four, even record in third position. They're doing pretty well. Their most recent result came against the Adelaide Strikers where they got them all out. Adelaide are really good. They're Let's not forget that. They got all the Adelaide Strikers out for 97 runs. They absolutely flogged Adelaide, and that was a really, really big result. The Thunder are a good team. Unfortunately, they're missing Josh Butler, but Shane Watson, he is their greenie. He's an absolute, I love him as a bowler. You know, Daniel Sam Sanger's not there, unfortunately, because he's playing against Sri Lanka. The Brisbane Heat this season, we should all know how they're going. They've won three games, lost four games. We've obviously been at home for every single Brisbane Heat match. We've been at home for every single Brisbane Heat match, and we still haven't witnessed a win. We still haven't witnessed a win. We still haven't witnessed a win, Tyler. Dollar. We still haven't witnessed a win, champion. Nah, it's, win. Nice it's a nice tonight. Tonight, please. I just want to win. Because I'm sick of watching every loss. But Chrissy Lynn, Max Bryant, and obviously Brennan McCullum have been killing it of late. Maxie Bryant's been playing pretty consistently well all season. Chrissy Lynn, you know how good he is. And Brennan McCullum has been hitting 50s for fun recently. So anyway, guys, enough talking out here. Let's head in there. Let's have some fun. Let's soak up the atmosphere. It seems like it's going to be a really big crowd today. From what I could see, a lot of seats have been sold. As you can tell, it sounds pretty packed inside. So I'm keen to have a good time. Soak up the atmosphere. Let's live your passion, guys. That's the main thing. Make sure you're having fun. Make sure you live with passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. And come on, the heat. Let's get our first win at home for the season. Come on, boys. Here before the game, I'm here with the big fella Tyler, who also hasn't win the win on the channel yet, you know? <laughs> you know what's funny, so when we went to the prison Raw match, he was like, oh yeah, at half time we're up 2-0. But yeah, you know what, I reckon I'm the good lucky, I'm the good lucky. Next minute, uh, we lost 4-2. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, mate. Obviously, we're playing Sydney Thunder today. They're a quality team, and they are missing a few people. But Shane Watson's a quality batsman. What do you think about today's game? I'm thinking it's about to get the last one to the game away. I think we got this one. Yeah, well, we did follow the Renegades. I didn't, I didn't mention the, 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 that result. We beat the Renegades by 101 runs. 101 runs. We flogged the Renegades by. Obviously, last week we were here, well, I was here for the Renegades when they flogged us, and then we went down to Melbourne and uh, they they, uh, they got a bit of a touch up by us. So, oh, here's the first ball. Come on. Bowling, first ball. Bowling, first ball. Yeah. Oh, that's a new. No, that's only two. That's only two. It's okay. Building. It's okay. You know, we're, bo we're, we're bowling first. So, what do you think the score we need to kind of keep it to to have a chance to win this game? I reckon anything over 130. 130? 130, yeah. Alright, I, I think 130 we're gonna win easy. Yeah. I reckon I reckon we, they need to be hitting. The Thunder need to be hitting at least maybe I'd say 170 to keep us at bay. 130, I think we're winning at 15. <laughs> 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 now 
obviously, uh, besides Christy Lynn, uh, Maxi Bryan and uh, Brendan McCullum, who've been doing really well, you know, pretty much all season. Brendan McCullum started off a bit average. Who do you think outside of those three needs to, to stand up the most in tonight's game? I would say Manny Kane. I think he's needs to bowl a bit better. Yeah, look. Uh, that was yeah, a yeah, he's bowling. He's, he's, he's bowling. He's a fantastic. Stop giving him the bowling, but he's batting wise. Right? Batting's a lot better. Oh, his batting is incredible. I'm excited. Well, he doesn't go for one of those stupid balls again. Yeah, unless he goes for one of those little dink over the over the wiki. Bowling! Oh, he just did exactly what we were just talking about. Benny Cunningham yeah. to lift it over the top, yeah, and that's all. <laughs> to be fair, I actually really like like we we don't usually stuff here. We usually sit down on the first level, but now these are actually really complete. I prefer these to down the top level. Because you can actually see everything and where everyone is. Oh, that's a smack. That's a six. That is a six. That's the thing, man. The first, even though that was Shane Warne. That was Shane Warne. He's the one we're going to watch for. Because usually it'll be Josh Butler. But Josh Butler's not playing, eh? Yeah, Shane Warne. <laughs> He's literally right in front of you who just hit a six. He's a bit old. Oh, is he a bit old now, he says. He goes in, it's two sixes in a row. He's Jono Watson a bit old now. <laughs> Can you shut up? Can you shut up? <laughs> Probably like 38. Oh, yeah. I was like, what's happening? Where's, where's the ball? 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 That was a super epic. That wasn't really hard. That's a hard catch to make. Oh! 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 Would that be the catch or did you miss it?
reason. You know, and, and, and people are cheering for no reason. I'm frustrated. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not like all the other fans here who come for one game or so and aren't going to get celebrated and excited because, I'm sorry, man, I actually give a shit about this team. And unfortunately, <laughs> and unfortunately, this is now the fifth loss in a row at home. So I'm sorry that I can't get excited because it's frustrating as shit. An hour and a half in the delay. I'm starting to not trust anybody here. It's starting to get tentative. It's starting to get tense. You know, I don't trust anybody looking at me. We're in the jungle now, boys. We're in the jungle now. I'm going crazy in here. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm on the next season of Lost. And that works well because the Brisbane Heat would have lost two hours into the delay. Scary times here. Two hours into the delay. Don't trust anybody. Not even Tyler. Not even Tyler. Everyone's losing their minds right now. Next season of Lost. I'm BKR Sports. This was all four before, but look at them. Going one by one, disappearing without a trace. Are we next? I don't know, we're gonna keep our wits about ourselves. Tyler, we're gonna keep our wits about ourselves, my friend. No one's telling us a thing, they're shaking their hands. Why is no one saying anything? Everyone's leaving, but a lot of people aren't because they don't want to know what's going on. You can even hear that they're not saying anything to those people over there. What is going on? Can you call Zahn and see, ask him to see what's going on? Due to circumstances outside of the stadium, tonight's game has been abandoned. What does that mean? Holy shit. But I'm abandoning the stadium. Let's get out of here. So basically what's happened is it's abandoned. So that means that there's literally no result from that game whatsoever. Now the reason why, obviously, we were actually sitting up there behind that big TV, which is off completely off right now. Now these lights, these lights were all on. That's, they're turning off now. But these three lights here were, were on. It was this light up here that has not turned on at all. So there's still enough light in the field to probably play. <laughs> All the lights are off. This All the enough. lights are off. I generally <laughs> think there's enough light that you can play. Bro, right, this is incredible. No, look at it. Look at it. Honestly. Dude, have you ever experienced something like this before? No. Like, this is strange. Tell me right now that this is not enough light. Exploring abandoned camera. Because it's been, uh, the game has been abandoned. Pitch black. <laughs> look, look, look at this chaos, bro. Like, yeah. Lights are out. Tree lights seem to be working. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> you can see the yellow oh, flashing. Yeah, some of them anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you'd like it, please give me a thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. The last couple of videos have been an absolute stitch up, haven't they? It's just, um, last couple of months has been an absolute stitch up, really. <laughs> I haven't seen an actual win for one of my teams in a very, very, very long time. Very long time. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I cannot actually believe it. As you guys uh, as you guys know, the game was abandoned due to the fact that the, the Eastern Power Grid of Brisbane, it, it literally, specifically the Gabba, lost its power. It's rough for the Sydney Thunder. It's extremely rough for the Sydney Thunder because obviously they lost the DLS. The DLS one was fine. The DLS one was, you know, that was fair because, you know, they just weren't hitting enough. But it's not fair to them this time because obviously this time we didn't hit the five overs. The Brisbane Heat weren't able to play five overs in time and for the DLS method to come in, it has to have five overs. Honestly, there there was no way, in any chance, there was no chance that we were coming back to win that game. So the thing is that the Sydney Thunder would have won that game, and that's why it's quite un un unfair that that situation had to unfold. And of course it had to happen against the team that last week we had the DLS that uh, won it for us with a, with pretty much the exact same score. As Brisbane Heat fan, if you're a Sydney Thunder fan out there, or just a cricket fan complaining about how unfair it is, don't worry, we understand, we know. Last night was a, was a mess. We're getting used to messy things here on BKR Sport. <laughs> we are getting used to things messy on BKR Sport. Like I said, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to be so so happy when we actually get to film an actual win. I, I, I'm gonna literally go off. If, if, if Brisbane Roar can beat the Western Sydney Wanderers next week, or even Australia beat Sri Lanka, I'll be, even, I'll be incredibly happy. I'll be, I'll be incredibly happy because I would have actually seen one of my teams win. It's just, it's it's surreal right now. It's surreal how the luck. But anyway, guys, if you haven't joined the Big Home Army yet, go and hit the subscribe button, deal with the notification bell as well, so you get a notification every single time or I upload. And lastly, guys, like I said in the last video, even though there's a lot of losses, a lot of negativity, a lot of drama right now, I'm still pushing, I'm still gone because this is my passion, and you guys need to live your passion too. What this proves is that no matter the negativity around you, no matter what's not going your way, no matter people saying you can't do something, just go out and do it. As always guys, focus on living your passion because that's the only way to live life. But that's going to do it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.